Hello everybody, welcome to part one of my series on barycentric coordinates. So today we're just going to look at what they are and sort of some notations and conventions with barycentric coordinates. So first off, we will always have triangle ABC and we will label the vertices in counterclockwise order. The reason why we do this is because we have a notation um, these square brackets will denote the area of uh, usually just of a triangle but the important thing is that this is a convention called the signed area so the basically we have to have um, vertices labeled in the same order um, so every example I will show in the series ABC will be labeled in counterclockwise order and this is very important. Next we will denote lowercase just like in the vector video we'll have the lowercase letter a corresponding to the length of the side of the triangle opposite from capital A, the point capital A. Now for a given point P we denote the coordinates of this point as x comma y comma z and each of these coordinates is equal to the ratios the ratio of the area that that point makes with one of the sides to the entire triangles area so obviously the point will divide the triangle into three different areas x y and z and so the sum of these ratios has to equal one so that's a very important note, that x plus y plus z will equal 1. And sometimes we will use uh, vectors in these problems. And so we'll say that the vector of p is equal to x times the vector to a times y, or plus y times the vector to b plus z times the vector to c. So essentially, it's just a for some arbitrary origin p is just some some coordinate that's expressed in terms of sort of unit vectors a b and c furthermore we define each verte vertex of the triangle so let's say a a has the coordinates 1 comma 0 comma 0 and b is 0 comma 1 comma zero and so on. So C is uh, I'll just write it C. C is zero comma zero comma one. Now so this is sort of the area definition. So sometimes barycentric coordinates have uh, three main names which are barycentric, um, trilinear, and aerial. So aerial refers to the sort of this area definition. Uh, barycentric, I believe, has to do with sort of treating this point as a, a center of mass and weighing out um, the points, the the vertex, the vertices. Likewise, now another way to define this point is as the intersection of the of lines um, from A, B, and C, such that wherever they intersect. So let's say A the ray AP hits BC at D, then we know that BD over DC equals Z over Y. And if we have the cyclic versions of this, so if we extended BP to hit C, then we would have the ratio would be X to Z. So if all three of those areas are, or if all three of those ratios are simultaneously true, then P has the coordinates X, Y, Z. So there's many ways to define the coordinates of P, which we'll use um, at our disposal. So let's look at an example. So let's say that we have, uh, we want to know the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. Um, so I'm going to draw another triangle. So now we see that if we draw in the midpoint, we have that these two side lengths are equal. and if we draw if we drew an altitude I'm just going to dot it then 
both triangle AMC and triangle BMC have the same altitude. So, and since they have equal bases, that means their triangles are, or their, their areas are equal. So, we have this angle, I mean not angle, this area and this area are equal. And we see that from our convention before that PBC corresponds to the first coordinate. So, uh, MBC would be the first coordinate of M. So, M would be X, comma, X. And since M is on the line AB, we notice that the area of triangle AMB, well, that's a degenerate triangle, so its area is zero. So the coordinate here is zero. Now we know that X, we know that the sum of the coordinates must be one. So X plus X is equal to one, which means that X is equal to one half. So the coordinates of the midpoint of AB is one half comma one half comma zero. Oops. Okay. I guess that's useful. Um, now what about other things we can look at? When is a point, I guess a point is inside ABC, the triangle ABC, if each area, each coordinate is positive, right? Now if it lays on a side, then like here we saw, if, it, if a point lays on a side, then one of the triangles that it makes will be degenerate, so it have a zero coordinate. Furthermore, if a point is outside of the triangle, let's say this point P, then the area, here we're looking at the area PCA. It is very important that you go in that order. It's counterclockwise, PCA. But here, PCA is clockwise, so we have to negate the area. So if a point is outside of the triangle, then it must have negative coordinate. And if a point is on a side, then it has a zero coordinate. And if a point is inside, then all its coordinates are positive. So in the next video, I'll go over equations of lines and maybe more stuff. See you in the next part.